Good morning! I'm student nurse Jerko Abrea from Estonia University, Philippines. Today, I'm going to perform the procedure of wound care. The purpose of the wound care is to promote healing and to prevent infection. Assessment. Assess the doctor's order, client's level of consciousness and level of knowledge and understanding, and then ask the clients about the allergy to latex or chlorhexidine gluconate or any cleansing solutions. Completeness of the materials needed. Procedure. Identify the client and explain the procedure, why it is necessary and how she can cooperate. And then, do hand washing and wear gloves and other PPE. Gather the necessary materials and arrange at the client's bedside table. And then, place the bedside's comfortable level and lower the siders where you will work and put away the collar. Close the doors of the room and draw the curtain divider. Do hand wa do remove the gloves and do hand drop and wear another clean gloves. Remove the dressing and place in appropriate receptacle. Remove soil gloves with contaminated surfaces in white and discard in appropriate receptacle. And then assess the appearance of the assess the appearance of the undressed wound bed for for healing as well as signs of infection and and inflammation of the and inflammation assess the appearance of the undressed wound bed for for healing as well as signs of infection and delayed healing such as pain, redness, and inflammation of the tissue and type and, and volume effect of exudate. And then do hand drop and wear clean gloves. And then if, in sec if, if inspection of wounds reveal delayed healing, um, done is sterile gloves. Clean the skin around the incision. Clean the skin around the incision with moistened gauze if needed. With moistened gauze. Cleanse the incision, cleanse the incision if needed with incision with with gauze or cotton tape applicator using the applicator with moisten with saline, with moisten with saline. Use applicator should not be introduced to the cleansing solution, and then apply the gauze dressing. Apply the gauze dressing using the no touch. Apply the gauze dressing using the no touch technique. Grasp the fo grasp just the edge of the dressing. Fold if needed and fold if needed and apply to the wound. Secure with tape. Optional, an abdominal pad may be applied over the gauze dressing if needed. And then, lower the bed, raise the side rails, and put the collite within the client's reach. And then, dispose all soil dressing according to hospital policy. And then, rearrange the reusable, rearrange the reusable materials in its proper places. And then, conduct client family education about the dressing, about the dressing and... Which may be, which may include the, 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 which may include the dressing technique, the dressing technique into the client and family, and then um, remove gloves and other PPE and dis dispose properly and do hand washing, and then document the procedure and important findings in the client's chart. Refer any abnormal findings into the, into the, into the attending position. That's all. Thank you.